morning, y'all. Hi, Jody. Ouch. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Carla. Oh, hey, guys. I feel like literally... I would not wish being this sick on anyone, okay? Uh, one fucking person. Oh. Hi, Karen. Hi, Christy. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Sarah. Hello, everybody. Thank you to whoever sent the flower. It doesn't pop your name up. It just, like, shows it down there that a flower was sent. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Teresa. How are you, beautiful? Long time no see, I feel like, babe. The book. Oh. Oh. Let us all pray that I make it through cooking and eating okay i was only able to stomach half of that bagel i did eat one of these though i feel like this bagel is still gonna be good i mean it's just a bagel with butter so i feel like i'm not gonna waste it i'm gonna put it away and i feel like we might eat it in the middle of the night <laughs> i don't know my lips are so chapped Ugh. it's me babes I know, I see. Oh, you're the one that's sending flowers. Oh, okay. I just saw four pop up, and then I saw your picture. Before I didn't see the picture, it just showed me, like, I blah, blah, blah. Um, I just seen the flower before it disappeared, because those don't stay down there, down there for long. I think it has to be 200 stars or more where it stays down there for a while. But I'm not sure. Does it tell you guys how much... Your stars have to be, like usually it says, send so many stars. I don't know who chooses that. I don't. I feel like Facebook does, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the one star. I only see like that for like literally two seconds. We have a star party, you guys. Can we activate two star parties today? That would be dope. Dopey, dope, dope, dope. We're gonna make ourselves some hot tea. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna make, um, like I said, tacos are, thank you, Teresa, for the 300 stars, babe. Tacos are literally like my comfort food. I always get Taco Bell when I have an upset stomach um, or I don't feel good, but I didn't wanna order Taco Bell. So, therefore, we're gonna make it. Okay. All right. Hold on, you guys. I see you guys are sending stars. Give me just two seconds. Just give me just two seconds, and then I'll come over there and scroll up and thank y'all. Let me just get this tea ready. <laughs> Look at me writing and shit. Dr. Seuss who? Okay, Dr. Seuss who? All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Dude, I literally, gosh, I caught your sickness, no! All right, who'd I miss? Thank you, Rebecca, thank you, Tina. Oh, dang it. And Tina, thank you guys so much for the uh, stars, my loves. We are a fourth of the way there for completing the star party. Let's freaking go. How much do we need? Does it tell you? Can somebody click the stars party and tell us how many we need? Me looking like, what do I need? Me forgetting what I need. Uh, excuse me, do you even go here? Bitch, who raised you? For real. Thank you, Robin. How are you, Robin? 
Thank you, Angela. You got it back. Yay, Natasha. That still sucks, though. But oh my goodness, girl. Thank you, Tammy. You guys, two and a half minutes. Okay. I feel like... You guys, you should hear that. Oh, thank you, Teresa. I appreciate you. You guys should have to should hear that sizzle. Katie! Katie, girl, if your fucking package literally returns to me one more time. No, like how many stars are needed? Oh, we need 1,800 stars. So we need 1,400 more stars, you guys. Okay. Facebook. Katie. Yeah, that is a good, that is, see, shut up. I swear to God, bitch. Literally, like, let's see if you can see it from here. See that envelope right there? It, it showed up at my fucking doorstep today, and I was like, what is this? It is your package that made it back to me, but it wasn't in my, it wasn't in my packaging. Thank you, Tony, for the stars. <laughs> like, that's not what I... Damn, that's not what I said, your package is. But it came back in that. And I literally was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Because all it said was literally my ad all it had it was taped very shittily. I'm dead, no girl, I'm dead. Um, I am feeling a little bit better. We're gonna use some taco seasoning mix. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to USPS instead of the post office. I guess I could go tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna make Josh go. I'm gonna make him go to USPS and mail that shit out, okay? Does USPS run where you live? Thank you, Brandon, for the stars. You guys, we have 15 seconds. We're almost there. Diane, thank you for the stars, girl. I missed it. I was like, dang, we almost got there. 10 seconds, you guys. 10 seconds. Um, 10 seconds. I literally was like, thank you, Brandon. For, and Joni, thank you guys so much. Dang, we missed it, I guess. Whatever. Whatever, Facebook. We still have a star party for us. Want to hook up and party? That will cost you 50 million stars, sir. The party, the party one. Hooking up. Do I look like a hooker? Does it look like I can be hired? USPS is the postal service. Are you talking about UPS? Is it? The fucking brown trucks? No, you're lying. Bitch, why are you lying to me? Leo! Why are you fucking lying to me, bitch? I'm literally so sick. I feel like shit. Um, you're fucking lying, bitch. The the fucking brown trucks. That is not the postal service. You're lying to me. Get off. I swear you guys stay lying to me. The brown trucks are UPS. Oh. US Postal Service. Oh. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. All right, all right. I guess you're not lying. <laughs> UPS then. UPS. Same thing. Dude, this whole time. I thought that. I, okay, I'm going to tell y'all what, I'm going to tell y'all what I thought USPS and UPS was, okay? I thought that UPS used the post office to sometimes deliver their packages. That's why it was USPS. Who's texting me? Okay. Dude, my hair, like, literally, my life, just, I, you know what Josh had the audacity to tell me yesterday? He was like, wow, babe, you're pale as fuck. Sir, so first of all, I'm sick. Forgive me for being white. Third of all, don't talk to me like that. Okay. 
the butt. The audacity these men have. I really don't know where these men get the audacity to, to, to talk sometimes. I don't even know why they have the audacity to breathe 99.9% .9 of the time, but whatever. seconds ago it's on my toe <laughs> look bitch <laughs> where's Frank dude he packed his bags and left he said fuck this life this bitch barely takes me out in the last two days no for real I have felt like a complete uh Well, we're over the USPS conversation, okay? We figured out we're wrong, and it is what it is. But anyways, um, uh, damn, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I feel like a piece of, piece of, piece of, piece of poop. I feel like a piece of, because literally Frank is so used to going out every two to three hours and yo girl has not he's only been out twice today this morning at like I don't know what time did I wake up to throw up again for the 50th time between 5 and 8 a.m. didn't look at the time because the last time I looked at the time I was throwing up was like three and then I fell back asleep so I'm assuming it was between that time and then I know I got up at like 9, threw up some more, and went back to bed. So I had to have let him out between 3 and 8 a.m. I'm assuming it was between 5 and 8. And then I took him out again at like 2. Or maybe 3. <coughs> Nothing Janie. <coughs> we didn't do Christmas gifts for each other. Um, so yeah, Amy, he done packed his bags and said, fuck it, I'm out. Oh yeah, I feel like an absolute piece of shit dog mom. But those two times that I walked him, y'all, like... I gotta sneeze again. Is it not gonna come? I don't think it's gonna come. <coughs> oh, fudge! Bless you. Thank you guys for all the bless yous. You seem better earlier, not now. I actually feel a lot less nauseated now than I did earlier. I need a bagel. I did try to eat a bagel. I only ate half. Um. Oh, man. Oh. I know the sickness needs to literally eat a dick and just go away. But it's not as brutal as it was 
last night. I feel like it's, it's going to get worse at night time. I don't know. What? Did it look like I had two tea bags in here? Am I this delusional right now? It looked like two tea bags in there. Ma'am, can you repeat? Ah, oh my God, what was that? Dude, I swear, did anything just fly in the trash can? Was that a cockroach? Was that a mouse? I don't know. I think it was a tea bag falling from the paper towel, so I'm just being dramatic. But for all the haters, they'll probably get, are gonna tell me it was a roach. Bitch, I had, did have a roach here once, okay? Let me tell you, and then I saw the second one, like, I don't know, three or four days ago. They're not coming from my apartment. They're coming from somewhere else because they came and sprayed here, okay? Um, and he was like, you have no sign of, like, a roach infestation. And you can apparently smell a roach infestation. And I was like, sir, if I had a roach infestation, I would know, I feel like. Wouldn't you? Probably, right? And um, he told me that they were like the American roaches. Um, he said that he was in my building spraying the week before that. I was like, well, why weren't you spraying in my unit, the book? And also, the one that I saw in the bathroom, <gasps> that's the weird place to see him too, I feel like. Like, I saw one in the... I saw one in the kitchen. Remember, I was live, you guys, and I killed it, and then that's when I moved the fridge and was freaking the fuck out. Um, and um, they're big. Like, they're not like babies. So I feel like... Thank you, Kylina. I feel like if they were babies and they were, like, living in my life, in my home, I would see them prior to them going from, like, me to, like, me. You know, like, at some point, I feel like I would know that they're there. You know what I mean? Hi, Tracy. Um, so. And I moved all of my appliances out. I looked under my cabinets. I looked everywhere. There is no sign of roaches. Um, and even when he sprayed, he was like, you're going to see them, like, dying or whatever by your doors and like the crevices so don't be freaked out like the spray worked i have not seen one okay i have not seen one so somebody in my motherfucking building has roaches and they are not telling the leasing office it's not embarrassing if you have roaches just get it handled It happens, baby girl. Shit happens, you know? People get roaches, people get bed bugs. The cleanest people get roaches and bed bugs, okay? You may have brought it from the grocery store, you may have brought it from Plato's closet, you may have brought it from going to your baby daddy's ex girlfriend's house. I don't know, something, okay? It happens. But don't let it go unhandled or uncured or un controlled I don't know what the word is you know because then people around you get affected like me bitch <laughs> and it's just like dude I wake up every fucking morning that I wake up and if I'm throwing up or whatever and I go in the bathroom bitch all the lights come on I'm looking in all the crevices I look in my kitchen I look everywhere I'm like paranoia but baby daddy's ex-girlfriend yeah you never know okay Boxes from deliveries, anything. It happens, but don't let that shit go untreated. The fuck? I will burn this motherfucker down so quick. Lisa, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, baby. It happens, okay? Um, a family member of mine had bed bugs once. That was the first bed bug I've experienced and the only bed bug situation I've experienced in our family. But then this one time, my friend was fucking her manager for like the longest time. And we went and like hung out at his house and we were all like having a grand old time and I slept on his couch. 
And when I tell you that thing was infested, okay, I went to work the next day and my coworker was like, baby girl, then my bed bug bites. And I was like, what's that? Um, he's like, they bite in threes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I was like, the fuck are you talking about? So yeah, if you're watching this, sir, you literally have bed bugs. I hope you took care of them. But yeah, the only time, any, ever, any other time that it's happened, um, I was house sitting and they had it. And I was like, we need to r remove ourselves from the premises. Or mice, the sugar will attract them. The flower will kill them. Why would flower kill them? Oh, Lisa, there was, there was this one time that I was in jail and there was a lice outbreak. Okay, this was when I was in jail for like three months. And there was a lice outbreak. It makes me... Oh, did I just show my titty? Nice, Kayla, congrats. No idea, um, Tracy. I live in Alabama. Jordan, where have you been? Did I just show my tit? Do I need to delete this video and come back? But yeah, that one time, um, one time in band camp, but technically not band camp. Band camp. It was jail. Um, there was an outbreak, a lice outbreak. When I tell you, <laughs> bitch. When I tell you. Okay, when I tell you, my ass was fucking rubbing cocoa butter. Okay, we would use cocoa butter for ch like our ass chaps because sitting on them, um, the what would you even call those? Like metal cement benches. I don't know what you would call them. You would get ass chaps like a motherfucker, okay? Let me tell you, ass chaps out the ass, plus the hard water and all of that. So, <coughs> when I tell you I was rubbing cocoa butter and Vaseline in my hair and not showering my hair for weeks, I was one of the only girls out of like, well, I was in like, I don't know what you would call it, but there was like mm, 60 of us in there, maybe less. There was like this program, they were trying to like turn around, like reoccurring criminals or what would you call them? What would you call us? Those that go in and out of jail constantly. What's that word? They weren't bleachers, no. Um, the ones that constantly go in and out of jail, whatever that word for that is. Um, they started this program in hopes that it would like motivate us to not get locked up again. Does not work. A month later, I was locked up again. Uh, anywho, um, yeah, there was like, not that many of us in there, but it was pr a pretty cool experience. I got to smoke cigarettes, so that was cool. I mean, we weren't allowed to, but we were sneaking them in. Because you can't tell a bunch of criminals that they can't do something. Come on now. Repeated offenders. Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. that's the word Annette that's the word anyways yeah I was a real I was very I was a I was I was a very um fucked individual till 23 well let me just put it that way I did not I thought I was invincible I did not think twice about my actions I did not care I had no respect for nobody I was a liar a cheater a thief what else Girl, everything in the fucking book you could think of, except for a hooker. Ain't nothing wrong with hooking, girl. Do what you gotta do, or boy, whatever. But 
No, like I did everything. I just, I gave no fucks. I have no idea how my family is not just like, because I literally, I literally, I thought that the way I was acting was literally the the big, the big biggest karma and revenge I, I could have for my parents being so strict growing up. <laughs> and in all reality, I was only fucking my own life up. Duh. Stupid bitch. <laughs> like, I was horrible. I was a horrible human fucking being, okay? Horrible. I was drinking and driving. I was... Um, stealing from men that I was having sex with like literally stealing money to get like breakfast the next day like I was a horrible human being like horrible when I tell you guys my fucking injury humbled me my injury humbled me well I mean it humbled me before my injury I got humbled before my injury but you get the gist like I just did not give a fuck about what happened to me like I was just like fuck it if I die tomorrow R.I.P. R.I.P. as what we used to say back in the yellow which is a damn lie you live every day you die once okay it's not fun don't die don't destruct be self-destructive like I was but you know what people change I mean did I completely change no I'm still a bitch but I do try to do my best now. And that's the tea for the day, okay? People do change, and I don't give a book if you don't believe in that. We do change. Do we completely change? No. I would have never known, girl. My Like, when I tell you guys that I was literally, like, thinking back on how I was from the age of... 16 to 22 repulsive repulsive okay i literally have so much respect for my mother and my father and my siblings for literally still for still even wanting to own me because i was i gave no fucks on who i hurt literally i gave I did not care about nothing. But that's the thing. When you are self-destructing, you don't think you're destructing, like you're self-destructing. You are doing all of these dumb things out of anger for, say, like, um, I don't know. Uh, how do you say this? Um, for, like, being angry. For You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, why do you think you were like that? There's so many reasons, girl. We're not going to get into that. Did you go to therapy? No, bitch, but that probably would have fucking helped. Honestly, that probably would have helped. The thing that I did do is, um, just figure out ways to remaster my scheming and lying and destructive ways every time that somebody would catch on i would figure out ways to like do it differently so then i would have like at least a few days weeks or months before i have to reconstruct it all over again i was a very fucked up individual i will say that but um have i completely changed no have i made mistakes since yes no my sister was not like that <laughs> bitch literally my scalp is so dry embarrassing but it happens we all get the dandruff okay but it matters on whether or not you see and don't they isn't admitting is the first step is that what is that called Ooh, I just got lightheaded. This tea is really making me feel better. Isn't that like the 12 steps or some shit? I mean, it's not about resources. I have resources left and right. 
Put it this way, at some point, the judge looked at me and said, okay, obviously jail isn't fixing you, so what the fuck are we gonna do here? And I just sat there and stood there and looked at him like, I don't fucking know, it's your job to figure it out, the fuck? Am I wearing the robe and at the podium and have Judge Anya in front of me? No. It's the state of Ohio versus Anna Janizek, sir. I'm the criminal here. Don't be asking me what the fuck to do with me because I'm going to just tell you, let me walk away. <sighs> the book. <sighs> Literally, I remember one judge was like, lightning does not strike twice in the same place. It took me about two years before I saw her again. I was like, hi! You didn't think you'd ever see me again. <laughs> Repeated offender, ma'am. Hi. But she hasn't seen me since. I haven't gotten in trouble since. <sighs> the fucking audacity. The audacity of these court judges, I swear, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I was literally a dumbass. And I ain't ever going to be afraid to tell anybody. How many of these do you take? Two. Cool. <laughs> Is that what you would tell Alabama from Ohio? No, girl. <sighs> Me running away from the state of Ohio. You ain't never gonna catch me again. No. <laughs> Could you imagine? Truth is, I'm wanted in all 48 states. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Except for Alabama. That's why I live here. No, I'm just kidding. No, girl, that's not why I moved. I moved because literally Ohio is a... I don't know how to explain it. Ohio is just a draining... Just a very draining state. But look at this. My scalp is so dry. <sighs> right. That's what I told my mom. I said, at least my kids will never get away with shit. Uh, I gotta sneeze again. These are a lot better, honestly, too. These are the Ollie brand. Yeah, I have Cindy. She does not feel good. She's got a fever of 102. Um, she was getting Violet ready for bed and going to sleep. Um, oh, Tracy, thank you, girl. <laughs> Let me find out they got a reward on you. Girl, I'll turn my set. Bitch, tell me where to meet you. We will split it 50-50, okay? <laughs> Deal? Wouldn't that be fucking comical, though? <laughs> I live by Mobile, Terry. What are these fucking called? Um, the essential prenatal folic acid and DHA. They're gentle on the stomach. So they're supposed to be like help you not be nauseous, I guess, when you have morning sickness when you're pregnant. I don't know. But it says contains fish. Yeah, Cindy. I'm sick too, girl. It's terrible. Baby dust. Yeah, you know how you sprinkle baby dust and wish people <laughs> all the good things to have a baby? That's what that is. Chew thoroughly before swallowing. Bitch, I've been swallowing these whole. I can't be that. I mean, it can't be that horrible that I've been swallowing these whole. Right? I mean, they're not really horrible, but. <sighs> the wheelchair might be like a tattoo described for your search. A little easier to find. It is. Um, you can take prenatals even if you're not trying for a baby or even if you're not pregnant. Yes. And uh, prenatals have uh, lots of benefits. Hey, Crystal. Oh my 
god, Bobby. Reverse the jigs on her. <laughs> yeah, it does help with hair, hair growth, nail growth. It helps with your skin, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, these are a lot better. Then the smarty pants ones I was taking. Those gummies. No, ma'am. Never again. All right, 36 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I'm really not in the mood for these tacos right now. I was going to cook them with y'all and do everything, but I might have to jump back on to do them again. But I'll probably do that in supporters. Um, no, I have no idea. Hi, Diana. Hi, Michelle. Thank you, Christy. Hi, Taylor. But yeah. Um, that's what I came on here to do was cook these tacos and I'm not in the mood. You made these at your work? <coughs> oh man all right y'all i'll be back on to probably finish these whenever i'm in the mood for them um i changed my mind i don't want them right now i should probably eat though because i've literally only had half of this bagel in the last like two days and some chicken noodle soup and like a handful of french fries that's not a good diet okay but whatever thank you joni um I'll see you guys here in a little bit. I hope everybody's having an awesome night. And I hope that you guys had a wonderful holiday. Merry belated Christmas. And I hope everybody has a good new year. It's literally right around the corner of Sunday, right? Wild. But I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.